good morning it's your friend noisy 6 a.m. and I'm outside looking at rubbish bins there's a reason for this I'm not taking rubbish just checking it out seeing how people dispose of their waste because it's something that I find interesting and it's a very large cost to ratepayers and I think suspect that some people aren't doing their bit to keep it cheaper for everyone else Well, here we are out by the bins again with a noisy white ung. If you live in the north ward of the city of Bayswater, you'll have got one of these in the mail. It's a postal vote for a by-election we're having at the moment that is probably not necessary really other than conservative party politics. If you follow my Party Meeple channel where I talk about board gaming, I did a numbers crunch on the cost of disposing waste at our local council. And everything in this bin, the red one, costs twice as much as the FOGO, the, the compostable bin, and the recycling bin. Twice as much. In that video I complained that uh, there was resistance to reducing the size of this big bin because, I don't know why, it didn't seem to make sense to me. I mean, I can understand some families might have special needs, but overall, it didn't make any sense to me. It sounded like a cheap way of people trying to win votes in the last election. Anyway, we have a new election now and I just want to talk about the two candidates that we have because we only have two candidates. So of the two candidates, one of them claims to be independent and, and I think she's legit. She's actually been here and argued with me about one thing or another. I feel like she wants to join the council because she wants to make Bayswater a better place. And while we don't agree on everything, she seems like her heart is in the right place. The other person, I think, is standing for election to make sure that there's a conservative voting block in the council that supports real estate development. And I think if you're on local council and you're in the pockets of real estate developers, you have a conflict of interest. Those of you who are as old as me will probably remember John Howard's first ministry where he had like I think six ministers that had to resign because of conflicts of interest. If you're the Minister for Minerals and Energy, you cannot own shares in a coal mine. Um, and I think, once again, if you're in a local council, you shouldn't be a real estate developer. That's a conflict of interest. So Mr. Real Estate Person, we'll call him, would like this bin collected every week instead of every second week. At the moment, this bin is collected every second week and the bit of video at the beginning should have showed you that most of the bins weren't full, so why would you collect them every week? And what's more, I didn't detect anything particularly smelly. This is because most people manage their bins properly. If you're like having trouble with your bin, with your management of your bin, then that's on you. The rest of us should not have to pay for that. Those of you who watch my other video will know that I think waste management is a really important thing, not just in terms of cost to ratepayers and renters, but also like looking after the place we live in. Just consuming stuff and throwing it in a big heap is not a great thing. It's not a great thing. The FOGO system gives us a product once it's collected that can be resold. Compo compost is a valuable product. The yellow bin 
the yellow bin with its um, recyclables once again can be is a product that is collected and then is worth something all of the stuff in the red bin just goes into a hole of the ground and costs money which is why it costs twice as much if you're curious about the numbers here go to my party meeple channel and watch the video i did on min maxing waste collection min maxing is a board gaming term um, which i'll explain on that video Anyway, I would urge anyone who has one of these letters to open it up, mark the box, and don't tick the bloke who's going to be backing the real estate developers in our suburb. Like, you only have to read the rest of his spiel, like he's playing the, oh, we're scaredy game, you know, we need more, like, safety and what have you in our suburb you know because it's a dangerous place what a fucking load of bullshit i'll even we I'll live in one of the safest places on earth like trying to scare people by saying we need more like security is just it's just a cynical play for votes and collecting this bin every week instead of fortnightly from what i saw when i did my little round on my bicycle is a waste it's a terrible waste. Collecting bins is an expensive part of the council budget and like doing more of it for no reason makes no sense. When I did the other video, I wrote to all the candidates because all of them had the platform that said maintain the large red bin, uh, which I see as a very bad thing. Uh, I rang the council and got a long email from them and I got responses from two of the council candidates that I um, emailed and the one who I mark as conservative who's now currently our mayor said oh you know it's optional you don't have to change if you don't want to but can I just say if you're doing something good for but if I just say if you're doing something good for the community that's going to benefit the community like cutting down our waste and managing it properly then it's something everyone should be responsible for you shouldn't be, be let off because you can't be bothered um, and if that's the attitude of our mayor that's like, that's your typical conservative, you can do it, but we don't feel like we have to. And if it turns out to be a good thing, well then good on you. Thanks. Anyway, if you are curious, um, I go through the letters and everything that I receive from the various candidates in my other video on my other channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I just want to say, I endorse Sally on this. We don't agree on everything, but I like her a lot more than the person who is in the pocket of real estate developers, or at least seems to be in the pocket of real estate developers.